Welcome to Headline Simsbury. I'm Karen Hanville. In anticipation of the coming winter, now is a good time to prepare for weather emergencies. When weather looks doubtful, please remember to stock up on gas, cash, water, medications, food, and other essentials. Remember to sign up for emergency alerts on the town website at www.simsbury-ct.gov alerts so you can stay informed. Simsbury has received a grant of $305,000 from the State of Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection for the construction of a multi-purpose trail from the Farmington Valley Greenway at routes 10202 and 315 to Curtis Pattison Parks. The trail will be 10 feet wide and paved as part of the Farmington Canal Heritage Trail. The Farmington Valley Greenway is a link in the continuous trail from New Haven to Northampton, Massachusetts. This section of the trail will become part of a key link in the East Coast Greenway. Dave Ryan from the Performing Arts Center board is here with a message for you. Hi, I'm Dave Ryan from the Simsbury Performing Arts Center board, wishing you and your seasoned greetings as we close out 2016. The Simsbury Performing Arts Center thanks all of you who attended events last summer at the PAC, and especially those who volunteered to make them happen. We're looking forward to an even greater 2017 season. We're working with promoters right now to bring some big name nights to Simsbury next summer. Contracts won't be signed until the April timeframe, so check our website in April, simsburymeadows.com, to see who's coming. Every year, it seems like there are more challenges to overcome and more competition. For example, a new Springfield Casino. To meet that competition, we need to invest more in facilities to avoid yearly rental costs. This year, we started a campaign to buy chairs so we don't incur the rental cost of chairs in the future. And this is one of the chairs. The, wonder, the response has been wonderful. So far, we've raised nearly half of what we need to do to purchase the 1,200 chairs we use eight or 10 times a year. So this holiday season, if you can help by contributing $100 for a chair, please send your contribution to Simsbury PAC, P.O. Box 33, Simsbury 06070. Your inscription will go right here. As you can see, these chairs are much sturdier and more comfortable than the rentals. So again, please, if you can, send a check for $100 to the Simsbury Performing Arts Center, Inc., P.O. Box 33, Simsbury, Connecticut, 06070. Or you can go to our website, www.simsburymeadows.com, and contribute online. Thank you very much, and happy holidays. In accordance with state law, and in order to make sure residents are taxed on the fair value of their properties, revaluation of all real estate in Simsbury is now underway. Over the next year, each property in town will be reassessed in line with current market values. You may see town employees and contractors from Municipal Valu Valuation Services assisting with this process. The first phase is a pre-review, which includes comparisons between what is actually observed at the property and what is shown on the assessor's card. The next phase, beginning in March or April, will include property questionnaires, updating records for work done under building permits, inspection of recently sold properties, and valuation. Revaluation notices are expected to be mailed in December of 2017. If you have questions, you can email Sean Kimball, the Director of Finance at skimball at simsbury-ct.gov, or call him at 658-3244, or you can call or email the tax assessor, David Gardner, at dgardner at simsbury-ct.gov or 658-3251. The Simsbury Social Services Department has been designated as an official intake site for residents wishing to apply for the Connecticut Energy Assistance Program. 
This program is available to assist households paying for primary heating bills incurred after November 9th. The program also has a heat included component for renters. Incomes and asset limits do apply. For further information or to schedule an appointment, call the Social Services Department at 658-3283. Celebrate the Christmas season at the First Church of Christ on Hot Meadow Street. The longest night service is Wednesday, December 21st at 7 p.m. This is a service of comfort and peace for those who may have lost loved ones and for whom this Christmas season may not be so joyful. Join with others to experience a place of rest. Pause and enjoy this video message from First Church. Advent is a time of active waiting. It's a waiting for hope that does justice, a waiting for peace that forgives freely, a waiting for joy that is merciful, a waiting for love that loves your neighbor as yourself. Every day, a simple act day by day. This Advent, we will wait actively. We will do something simple and beautiful every single day. Join us at First Church of Christ Simsbury as we count down the days until God's new world is born on Christmas Eve. The 5 p.m. Christmas Eve service at First Church will be a puppet pageant in the sanctuary. This is a wonderful, captivating service for all ages that retells the joyous story of Jesus' birth using larger-than-life rod puppets. From a glowing angel Gabriel to shepherds and sheep, opulent wise men and Joseph and Mary, this pageant is a memorable, long-standing tradition at First Church that the entire family will find meaningful. The 9 p.m. Christmas Eve service will be a service of lessons and carols in the church sanctuary. This beautiful candlelight service embodies the mystery and awesomeness of the birth of Christ. Adapted from the 1918 King's College service of lessons and carols, the service includes Christmas Bible readings interspersed with the congregational singing of Christmas carols and anthems by the church choirs, soloists, and instrumental ensembles. The Midnight Worship with Communion is a unique late-night Christmas Eve service that includes traditional, blended with contemporary elements of worship. This service has quickly become a favorite among the congregation, from youth and college students to seasoned adults and night owls. The service is held at 11 p.m. on Christmas Eve. If you need more information, you can call the First Church office at 651-3593. Joe Nagy is here with upcoming events at the library. Hi, my name is Joan Nagy and I'm a librarian in adult reference at the Simsbury Public Library. As we experience another New England winter, you will find lots of reasons to brave the cold and come out to the library. January will bring the new PBS program, Victoria. The Simsbury Public Library and the Simsbury Historical Society will be co-sponsoring a great event that will combine a lecture, a tea, and costumed characters at the Historical Society as we learn about Queen Victoria and her era from Trinity College Professor Sarah Bilston. You can reserve a seat by calling the Historical Society. If you're sitting at home and scratching your head over the new device you got, your children got you in December, let the library help you solve the mystery. We will be offering one-on-one -on -one help every Thursday in January with our New Year new device service. Just contact the library for an appointment. If you're wishing someone would just take you away on an adventure, we'll be starting our Armchair Traveler series in January, kicking off with Charmaine and Ian Glue, who will share their travels to Egypt with you. 
Maybe you want to use the snowy days to preserve your books, photographs, and manuscripts. Archivist John Alt will teach you how to handle and store your fragile wood-based paper and photographic items. Have you curled up with a copy of The Hobbit recently? Popular astronomer Dr. Christine Larson will be back to talk about the stars of Middle Earth, J.R.R. Tolkien's tumultuous love affair with astronomy. Do you remember dockside dining during the summer? Metro Beast is back with their cookbook author series, this time bringing you Heather Atwood, author of In Cod We Trust, From Sea to Shore, the Celebrated Cuisine of Coastal Massachusetts. Heather's talk will include delicious samples from her cookbook made by Metro Beast. Martin Luther King Day will be commemorated a little early with the documentary Come Walk in My Shoes, in which Congressman John R. Lewis leads his colleagues on an emotional pilgrimage of sacred sites of the civil rights movement in Alabama. Deacon Art Miller will lead an informal community discussion following the film. There will be two terrific concerts in January. Jacqueline Jones will bring her classical guitar music to the Friends Coffee House, and Mike Casey will perform jazz at a special Sunday program. The Theater Guild will also be doing staged readings in January. Dr. Carrie Driscoll from the University of St. Joseph will be presenting an educational program on Mark Twain and the Indians when she will examine Twain's attitudes and often conflicting representations of Native Americans in his work. Programs are free and open to all. Some programs require registration, so check details by calling 860-658-7663, extension 2200, or by going online at www.simsburylibrary.info. I'll see you at the library. The Department of Continuing Education will begin new classes the week of January 9th for state-mandated courses in adult basic education, English for speakers of other languages, Americanization and citizenship, and GED preparation for English, math, science, and social studies. Contact the Department of Continuing Education at 658-3870 for more information or to sign up. The Simsbury Recreation Department has vacation week activities and a public ice skating schedule available. There will also be several opportunities for ice skating lessons, both child and adult. Go to simsburyrec.com or call 658-3836 for more information. Help Simsbury Community Television reach its fundraising goal by making one sim simple change that doesn't cost you a thing. While you're doing your holiday shopping online at Amazon, change from your regular Amazon account to an Amazon Smile account and for free, and then designate SETV as the nonprofit you're supporting. A portion of what you spend will automatically be donated to SETV. This is an easy and effortless way to support your local television station. If you don't shop on Amazon, another way to support SCTV is to volunteer some of your time and talents. Volunteer producers need you to help run a camera or direct a program in the studio. Or learn to use our field cameras to record your event. Training is provided. If town meetings are more your thing, there's room for you to learn how to use the robotic cameras at Town Hall or produce your own program. Each month, Phyllis sends out a list of productions that we need to cover. Simply sign up for the ones that you're interested in. There is no mandatory requirement. Help when you can. All volunteers are greatly appreciated. Call us at 658-1720 with questions to set up a tour of the station and to sign up for this fun opportunity. If you missed anything in today's program, you can watch this and all the programs produced by the community on SCTV's website, simsburytv.org. Support SCTV's capital campaign with a tax-deductible donation matched with funds from the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving. Donate on the website or mail a check payable to SCTV P.O. Box 767, Simsbury 06070. Support SCTV as we make improvements to our channels. I'm Karen Hanville. We are SCTV, your town, your schools, your government.
Since 1984, SCTV has been the place to turn in Simsbury to watch local government in action. But we are more than local government and school meetings. SCTV is the only place where you can check out all the candidates in local elections. We have high school sports and exercise classes. Other shows keep you up on health, finance, poetry, music, and Simsbury Hot Topics. Now we need your help. Simsbury Community TV is embarking on a major capital fundraising campaign to bring SCTV into the 21st century. We've received a generous grant from the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving, but now we must match it. We want everyone to watch us on TV or on our website, but even if you never do, please help so that we can continue to keep your government open and you informed. Someday, when there's a crisis, you will want SCTV to be there. Hi, my name is Lori Lubetkin. I'm co-owner of the Redstone Pub in Simsbury. I hope you'll join me in supporting SCTV. Since 1984, your connection to your town, your schools, and your government.